Hello students, I hope you all are great and wonderful. So, we have criteria for congruency of triangle. We have many criteria, but we'll start with some basics, okay? So, first of all, I'm making two triangle and tell me whether they both the triangles are congruent to each other or not, okay? So, this is the first triangle and this one is another triangle. As you can see, these two triangles, okay? Let me write down its name that is A, B, C, let's say this is P, Q, R, okay. Are they both congruent to each other? This is right angle triangle but this is not right angle triangle. Will they overlap each other if I put first triangle on the second triangle? If I try to put it on the second triangle, will it overlap each other in any way if I rotate also? No, no. So, they are not congruent. So, ABC that is triangle ABC is not congruent with triangle PQR or there could be many examples where the two triangles are not congruent to each other. Let me take one more example. Let me take one point, second point, third point, okay, and okay. Now let's say this is the first side that is, let's say this is triangle is X, Y and we have Z, okay. This is, let's say this is 30 degrees. This one is, let's say, 4 centimeter and this one is 5 centimeter, okay. Now, in the same way, we are having another triangle, okay. Let's say we are having this another triangle, this one, okay. And here we have, let's say, let, let's take its name as E, F, G. And this angle is 30 degrees. This side is 4 centimeter, this side is 5 centimeter, okay. What can you say about these both the triangles? So, first of all, obviously, we have to cut it and we have to try it to put it on the first triangle. If it, if it will overlap each other, then we can say both the triangles are congruent, okay. So, if I take this triangle, okay, let's say this is triangle and if I try to overlap first one, Exactly, it is overlapping each other, isn't it? So, we can say both the triangles are congruent to each other. So, here you can see we have one side and another side. Here also one side and another side, okay? It means two sides of the triangle of both the triangles and one included angle are equal. Then also we can say that both the triangles are congruent. This is the first criteria to check whether the two triangles are congruent to each other or not. Why we have different criteria to check? Whether, whether the triangles are congruent or not. Can you please tell me why? Yes, exactly, you all are true. Because every time we cannot check all the sides, we cannot check all the angles. So, we should have some rules that is known as some criteria. For that, we can use it and we can come to know that both the triangles are congruent or not. Okay. So, it means we have this one of the axioms. And before that, let me write down the triangle X y z is congruent to triangle p sorry e f g okay now we have an axiom on the basis of these this activity okay we can say if two sides and one included angle included angle of one triangle are equal to 
are equal to two sides and one and one included angle included angle of another triangle another triangle then they both are then they both are congruent then they both are congruent in same way that is this activity only that is if two sides of both the triangle and one included angle what do you mean by included because this angle is made between these two sides which are equal to each other in both the triangles okay so it we can say this is included angle and excluded angle means if you say these two sides so between this if you if we are not having the angle apart from this any other angle is excluded so here we should have angle that is included and this axiom is known as s a s okay s a s means that is side angle side angle side so whenever we are having this criteria we can apply then we can say by side angle side congruency criteria or congruency rule and we can use because this is axiom so it is universally true so we can use this wherever we can apply side angle side i hope it is clear to all of you please take the note of this part